Hello there. I'm going to show you what we're learning for math this week. This week we are going to be working on number partners for 8 and 9. So last week we did number partners for 6 and 7. So we know a little bit about this. Today we're going to start working on the number partners for 8 and 9. So let's take a look. I have some cube trains here and we're going to make some number partners with them together. This one here, I can see one blue and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven reds. So that would be one plus seven equals eight. Now I can switch that around. If I turn to the cube train around, I could have seven plus one, and that's another number partner for eight. My next cube train here with the green and orange. I have two greens and one, two, three, four, five, six oranges. So two and six are number partners that make eight. I can do two plus six equals eight. And I can switch them around. Six plus two equals eight. Both of those ways work. The next one, if I look at the yellow and the light blue, I've got three yellows and one, two, three, four, five light blues. Three and five are number partners that equal eight. And again, I can switch it around. I can put the blues first and then the yellows. Five plus three equals eight. And the last one here, you're going to notice something. I have four greens and four blues. It's a double, isn't it? Yeah, I thought you would notice that. Four plus four equals eight. And if I switch it around and I say the blue ones first, it's still four plus four, isn't it? Because we also know that when we add, we can add in any order. We can mix the numbers up to equal the same thing. So let's take a look at an example for the number partners of nine. Here we have a number bond. So the whole is nine and the parts are six and three. Six plus three equals nine. Three plus six equals nine, don't they? We can also do some subtraction. If I have nine and I take away six, I would have three left. Or if I have nine and I take three away, I would have six left. We can check that on our fingers. Here's nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What if I take away three? I have six left, don't I? Okay, so what we're gonna work on is writing four equations that go with our number bond. This is called a fact family. So let's see if we can do that here. Something plus something equals something. If I look at my number bond, I can see that 6 plus 3 equals 9. 6 plus 3 equals 9. I also know that I can switch those numbers around. I can do 3 plus 6 equals 9. So that's my other addition equation. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Okay, now I've got some subtraction ones. If I'm taking away, I need to start with the whole thing. So I need to start with nine. And then I gotta take either, we, either the six or the three away. Start with the six, okay. Nine minus six. If I take away six, I will have three left. So nine minus six e equals three. And my other subtraction equation I'm going to start with 9 again because I have to start with the whole thing before I take some away. This time I can take away the 3. If I take away 3, I will have 6 left. If I take a look at those, think about them. Okay, I know that's true. I know that is true. 9, take away 6. Okay, 9 minus 3. Okay. So I could use counting on to add and subtract. I can look at my fingers just to make sure that my equations make sense. So now I have found number partners, the things that go together to equal a number. We did eight. 
And I also know how to use a number bond to write a fact family of equations. We will be working on those things this week together in class for the numbers 8 and 9.